Well, this industry thinks that we're running out of options when it comes to radio um, suppliers. Um, and it's true. Throughout the years, there's been a lot of consolidations and we used to have many options. Now we have much less optionality. Um, and that is a problem because that's an area where operators used to spend most of the capex and the practical totality of the opex of the network. However, throughout the relationship, um, Samsung, Verizon, we've actually proven that there is one more player in town. And our deployment in the US of uh, more than 30,000 base stations, I think, put you in the tier one of radio suppliers. So that's why it's important. Well, Samsung and together with Verizon, we've done something very special. So as far as I know, we've deployed the um, single biggest open RAN network. Now, we don't call it open RAN, we call it VRAN, but at the end of the day, it's off-the-shelf um, servers with open interfaces and ORAN compliant radios. Um, so we have more than 30,000 base stations um, of, of that VRAN or open RAN. That's very special because it's more flexible than the old architecture. It evolves naturally. It's a software-defined um, radio. It's a software-defined network. And it actually, it does all that with less cost. That's how we lead. Right, so it may seem actually early to prepare for 6G, but we don't think it is. We've launched um, the 6G Innovation Forum uh, a few days ago, of which Samsung is a very important partner. Now, this time, we want to do something different, different from you know, 4G or 5G or even 3G, where we actually deliver the technology, um, we stretched it to the art of the possible at that time, which was great, but we didn't have any use case in mind. We just delivered the technology and then we waited until an application would surface. This time, we want to actually conceive the technology with a use case in mind. We want to explore the use cases that are going to be surfacing, like possibly in the second half of this decade. And then we will make 6G the technology that will make them scale, that will enable them to go and reach a massive scale. So that's how we're going to make it. The future network is a network that evolves by software. It's a like the one that we have with Samsung is based on open um, hardware servers. And, and it can um, ingest new components and more intelligence just by upgrading the software. That's how you embed AI into the network at all levels and in all layers. So that's why one of the reasons why it's important that you build it on open run or, or on Piran. But maybe more important than that is the purpose. So we are building that network and we will build this network for the future because it will enable the use cases that our customers will want. So imagine the network that makes your AI wearable of choice to uh, be able to transmit with so low power that the battery lasts, you know, for an entire day or two days. Um, imagine an app that gives you so much uplink that you don't need to do the processing in the device. You, you can have the GPU at the other side of the network, possibly, you know, together with AI Connect, Verizon's AI Connect. Um, and we do that by providing so much uplink that you have enough capacity to transmit whatever the context your AI agent needs, be it video, audio, sensing, or all of them at the same time. That's the network of the future.